July the 21st, 2021. Guys, you're looking at the CME tracker, and uh, what this is doing is tracking a solar eruption from the sun, which is indicated in the center of the circle on the left and the yellow dot. That's the sun, and this is the coronal mass ejection that has left the uh, surface today. It's crossing stereo A in the red right there, guys, and Earth is in the green. So we're going to get a glancing blow. That would be on the 23rd at around 1400 hours UTC. That's going to be about 11 a.m. Eastern time on New York. But remember, there is a plus or minus seven hours either way on these windows. And the charts on the right indicate the three colors. The Earth is in the green, both in the top plasma density chart and in the bottom radial velocity, which is solar wind speed in kilometers per second. But we, we've been watching for this. We've had these backside solar or, or sunspots coming around, and now we're going to feel the first effect of that. Now, this is a side blow because they're just now turning our way. But all of us have been watching this for quite a while now. Also, there's things that are happening. This is the bootleg fire in southern Oregon. And the reason I'm doing this video is because there's about to be one of the greatest migrations from the west coast to the east ever seen, ever. And most of the migrations, to be frank with you, have been from the east coast to the west, including the California Gold Rush and before that the modern minimum where people had to evacuate. It was so cold it was called the year without a summer. Crops failed, everything failed. But right now you've got a fire that's uh, 400,000 acres have burned. This is just one of many. This is at the just uh, east of Klamath Lake there. They're saying that the, it's so hot that it's creating its own weather. Normally it's just the opposite. But they've got 5,000 people in there battling it, and they're thinking this thing could go up to over a million acres. It's 32% contained. It's so large and intense, they're saying that it's creating its own weather. They're saying normally the weather predicts the, where the fire will go, but not in this case. It's too big. They're saying it has merged with the nearby log fire across 13 states. 83 large wildfires have burned 1,293,000 acres, according to the National Interagency Fire Center. Look at this. Again, bootleg is at 400,000 acres, so that's a great portion of it, over 30% of all the fires. That's how large it is, and expected, again, to become a fire of over a million acres charred. You guys in the East Coast, Northeast Coast especially, you've been talking about on my channel these orange sunsets and smoky sunsets and red fiery nights. That's because the smoke is has really the thickest I've ever seen it over the Northeast. And we're going to take a look at some of the um, satellite images, guys. It's saying the wildfires are spreading this smoke. And if you look into the top right corner of this image in, off the Northeast Coast, that white cloud area is not white. It's gray from wood smoke, and it's caught up in that front that you see dropping down south of the Great Lakes and moving offshore. Now, here we have a tropical watch. This has been giving us fits here across the south from Texas all the way to the east coast. Rain every day, every day, just back and forth. Not any time to dry out. But now that it's offshore, the uh, parts of it over the Gulf Stream. And guys, we'll take a look at that, but you got a 20% chance of development. Now, let's go back over to Oregon a minute. Straight in the center of this is the Klamath uh, area, Klamath Lake, you can see there, but the smoke is coming from the bootleg fire. Behind it is 400,000 charred acres. That could double, maybe triple. But we're going to be watching this, and guys, in California, look at the areas that we're talking about here. you got big reservoirs in that area. At least that's a good thing as far as the, the helicopters can have a place to, you know, come down and pull water up some of the big plains. But, uh, and maybe, maybe some of this moisture that's been trying to get your way coming out of uh, Texas and Mexico, it may make it. But look in the right side of this image as you see this front dive down south of the Great Lakes. Notice the color, discoloration of the normally white clouds. That is smoke, and that's in this entire area from um, 
Washington, D.C. upwards. That is what you're seeing is that wildfire smoke from the east. Now, what's happening, that weather that I was complaining about that's been raining day after day here now has a 20% chance of formation as it has moved offshore and getting into the warmer waters of the Gulf Stream. It says environmental conditions are forecast to be marginally conducive for some gradual development over the weekend and to early next week while the system meanders offshore the coast of South Carolina, Georgia, and northeastern Florida. So you know me, guys. I'm always keeping on the tropics. We are here in a Gulf state ourselves. Now, I want to take another look at some of the satellite images. We'll look at this, and this is the cluster of storms that have moved off of South and North Carolina and over the warmer waters of the Gulf Stream. And just north of there, look at the uh, how condensed that smoke is coming from the West Coast. Check it out. Total discoloration. That So, guys, you know, uh, regardless of whether or not you want to wear a mask, if you're outside doing a lot of activities and you're sensitive, you, it may be something to consider, at least a uh, bandana or something. But right there is the center of uh, some of the, these problems. Now, the area they're watching is a little further inland, a little to the left of this. So they may be watching something else development but uh, or develop, but you know that I'll be watching it. Also, looking at the wider view, a couple of storms coming off of Africa. It's been very quiet the last two weeks, but that's one of the cycles that I've talked about. The Atlantic hurricane season can do that. If you have a lot of activity, a couple of weeks it's quiet, things recycle, and this is what you get. Now, they haven't uh, said they're watching either one of these storms to your bottom right that's coming off the African coast. But, uh, of course, as I update uh, the system off the East Coast, just keeping an eye on it, we will update those too. Also, looking off the uh, east coast, uh, west coast of the U.S. and Mexico into the Pacific Ocean, both of these storms that we had mentioned are, have died out. What has happened, and there's Hawaii, so these storms are not going to affect you other than maybe a little wind, one is south of you. But in the left side of this image, there's extreme wind shear that's coming from the left to right. And it's just tearing the tops out. They're dry there. You've got drier air pushing down from the north. But uh, you guys in Hawaii are getting a west-to-east wind. Now, Tina reminded me very firmly to let you guys know that she has a new video up on Tina's Country Kitchen. I'll put the link below. But it's, someone had asked about some fine homemade biscuits and homemade uh, country-fried potatoes and tomato gravy, which I'm not sure how popular that is up in the north but it's a southern delicacy and she goes through the entire process of making the biscuits making the gravy making the potatoes showing you the ingredients the whole nine yards guys so please go there and check it out so that i might get to eat some of this but uh, it's every bite is super delicious made with love that's what counts so heads up guys be safe